Here, I just captured an interesting uh, feature of this Watson meter. Once the transmitter batteries are weak, it just tells you so that you will never miss uh, data logging. Here. So I'm, ju I'm just gonna have to change them quickly and it will be back for another three months. So this is where the transmitter is, right here, next to my uh, EDF meter. So this is where the clip, sensor clip is plugged in behind in the main board and uh, that's uh, one wire that goes to, uh, to here, main board, this is the the other wire that's coming out for now to a sensor clip that's in a wire coming from downstairs where you saw my energy storing device. So I'm gonna remove this uh, meter and uh, transmitter and change the batteries. Here, changing the batteries very quickly. Oops. Et voilà. Oops. See, it's already blinking. This is for solar or any generation, like solar panels, uh, wind turbine, uh, or storage. My storage uh, system is going to put some uh, data from here. Here, this is for a three-phase system, but I just use this one here. This is for my main grid. So let's put this back in. I just plugged these two jacks back in and it's blinking already. Let's see the meter. And now we have a normal reading. I have to know that my energy storage system is on. So we see I'm using 900 minus 400 from the storage system, so that's 5. Let's go down, check on this system, actually in my bedroom, where I have uh, some extra space. Still 52 volts, 325, 327, that's the cell level, 10 amps here, the fan is blowing, it's automatically blowing when it's reaching some, this is a, this is a bit warm, kind of look warm. And this went down to 406 watts. That's pushed back into my grid, my home system. I think it's gonna stay more or less at 4. Never goes under. It's been running now for an hour or so. I think I started at 11. I don't remember exactly. By the way, I wanted to talk about this. This is a kid's uh, bicycle. Uh, uh, you know, it's like a police siren. And this would allow me if I go under a certain voltage programmed in here. You can program this device. There's a little bit of button pressing to do here. And the uh, relays output behind. Which is, which is 
I'm gonna close the contact of the relay at I think I set it to uh, 48 volts so this is gonna start a very loud uh, siren and warn me to just come down and stop stop this device uh, manually for now we're put, putting this back on zero just because I'm uh, waiting for a high current uh, on it uh, high voltage I mean uh, current relay I ordered online and uh, I think I received it it's waiting for me at the post office I'm gonna go get it uh, Monday tomorrow and um, I should install it so instead of uh, having this noise when it's uh, the battery bank is running low I'm gonna have an automatic disconnect which is much, much safer if, not, if I'm not around it's gonna be more or less uh, automatic then. So with these uh, rechargeable batteries I'm using for the transmitter, for example, this is also used in uh, kids' toys and all kinds of things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my. Uh, I have a few solar panels hanging from here. I will show you that a bit uh, in detail later. This is my first step in solar. It's about two years uh, from now. It's just feeding uh, some uh, batteries here, AGM batteries, 265 uh, USA Japanese um, 12 volt, 65 amp hours, 12 volt batteries. That's used in uh, RVs, I think. And it's just in uh, in uh, parallel, so it's a, it's a 130 amp hour battery bank. And it's um, fed by two, no, three solar, small solar uh, panels. It's just very cheap purchase from a supermarket. And I just did some uh, frame to hang them with chains from my window. It's not very, very safe, but it's okay. Uh, gutter is right underneath if something happens. And this is uh, actually used to charge iPads, iPod, you know, using the 12 volt, uh, 12 volt thing from a, that you, you would plug in, in your car auxiliary uh, outlet. So I can, I can, uh, I can recharge iDevices uh, for free uh, from solar. It's not much, but it's a start. And also, I'm using this uh, uh, this charger. I just got this from a, a supermarket, actually. Um, this is uh, gonna recharge from 12 volt. So uh, instead of using the power converter, I'm just using a wire coming from my um, uh, solar controller here. And it's going to feed the 12 volt to this charger. This charger is capable of recharging 1.5, uh, 1.2 volts uh, regular rechargeable batteries. So here we have three settings. An ICD, you know, this kind of battery, you have to, to empty them. It's going to empty them here, discharge and then recharge. It's taking care of all this. Uh, one by one for uh, individual uh, programs that you can read here. Um, these are, I can also recharge these, I just got out from the uh, transmitter. These are NIM batteries, and there's another prog a charge program for that. And you can also recharge regular batteries. You know, it's always written never recharge never cast in fire and on all that you can recharge with this special device you can and i've done it many times like uh, 10 times after that they start uh, they're gonna start having a problem charging but you can reuse normal batteries and you just recharge from solar with this also 9 volts here regular 9 volts or rechargeable 9 volts 